Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. So let's tell me about Albert Adams. Um, Well, I'm Thomas. I'm Jordan. And and we're Albert Adams. Um, And that's this. Yeah. This is what we do. (laughs) Hailing from Asheville. Asheville. Asheville, Asheville, North Carolina. (laughs) So um, we are sustainably developed, locally grown. (laughs) (laughs) How did you uh, how'd you get this band started? Um, um, oh, I guess originally it started in Boone. Um, we uh, were living in Boone for a while and um, toyed around with the idea of doing a bass and drum project and did a couple of things, but nothing ever really came together. And then we parted ways. And uh, one day I got a call from Thomas that said, hey, there's a job opening in Asheville, which is where I was trying to move at the time. And um, so I went in for an interview and then the next day I moved down and we've kind of been yeah, we're just doing it since then. back up and... And now we're doing it for reels. Yeah. Where did the idea for a, a solely, well, I guess you have a keyboard as well, just not here tonight. Um, it's, you know, we, we dabble around with different instrumentations. Yeah. yeah. I guess the core idea was just for the fact that, like, in, in Boone at the time, there's not a whole lot of people to play around with. So, you know, what kind of started out as just, like, a fun, just, you know, time killer. Like, we realized it kind of made a little more sense to just do it. And then when we moved to Asheville and got to see, like, all these other bands, like, actually, like, being experimental and doing crazy stuff, we... Figured, let's just do it. Why not? So, yeah. so here we are. So, um, I mean, I might be wrong, but I, I pick up some, uh, I guess, elements of like Prague. Uh, obviously, oh, yeah. obviously, bit, you yeah. mentioned some experimental. What are you? What are y'all's influences? Ooh. It's funny. It's funny because people, a lot of the times, will will like go and play a show and they'll be like, "Oh, we we thought you were gonna sound like this, and then you ended up sounding like this." And we're always like, we don't even know what those two bands are. Like, we, we haven't yeah. even heard of them. So. Like, we, we both listen to a very wide array like wider, of yeah. music. And, um, like, we both collect records, so we have, like, just spanning all genres of stuff that we constantly listen right. to. Um, so, like, Shellac's a big influence. That's one that we really listen to. Um, we try to incorporate some kind of, like, groovy grooviness that we get from things like LCD Sound System, um, Soul, like, a lot of R&D. Yeah. Like, we don't, like, it doesn't translate in the way that would be, like, really obvious, but, like... I don't know. We jump around structure-wise a lot, and that's kind of proggy. But no. really, we just hear something. Like I'll hear like a vocal part in like some like Ray Charles tune, and I'll be like, "We should do something like that." And then that those will become the vocals of a song, whereas like Jordan might hear like some crazy bass part, and then that becomes something that we mimic. Yeah, we so, we don't really have like a specific. We don't want to sound like any band. Yeah, which is yeah. Really nice. We're not like we need to be, you know, whatever band ever. Now. Um, who is Albert Adams? Um, I'm going to let Jordan take this one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there was this guy in, uh, well, when we were in middle school, there was this guy in, high, in the high school in our school system that he was just a phenomenal musician, played everything. Um, but he was very, very pretentious about it. And he didn't listen to any good music at all. And, uh, but he was like, musically, he was kind of an influence on us just seeing him play often and like you know personally me seeing him play the upright bass was kind of a big thing for me like watching him actually just the, just the way he held the instrument really it just it seemed so comfortable and I kind of wanted that mm-hmm. same feeling with the, how, whatever instrument I was playing I don't know like how did you feel yeah. well he it's well yeah he's a great he was this great guy but the thing is that like he would do that and you'd see him do this phenomenal thing and then he'd be like, oh, man, like, like I just got to hear, like, Led Zeppelin too. Like, what do you think about Moby Dick? And he's like, John Bonham's the, the worst. Like, <laughs> those guys are terrible, you know? And it was just, it was just really bizarre because he had this very natural talent, but, like, we never really understood. Like, he listened to a lot of really obscure jazz, mm-hmm. and that was, like, his only thing. Yeah, um, I, I, I so specifically remember him listening to Spyrogyra a lot. <laughs> yeah, just everything sucked, basically, yeah. <laughs> like, to him. He was like, oh, that sounds bad. Like, those guys are hacks, blah, blah, blah. He was Pitchfork before Pitchfork. Way, uh, yes. Yeah, exactly. That is perfect. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but his name was Albert Adams. Right. Yeah, and so, we, so. so this is kind of like our homage to him, because I'm pretty sure, last I heard, he worked at, like, like what used to be the Food Lion, like, in Ashboro. Like, yeah. He was just one of those guys who was just, like, so bitter that he never really got anywhere. But great musician, absolutely. Yeah. So this is, this is to you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> so he is unaware of, of y'all's tribute to him. Well, he will, he, he will someday, someday know who we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, as of today, y'all's music lives solely on the internet, on the webs. Yeah. Yes, um, at this moment, yeah. But uh, what is your plans as far as recording? What are you guys doing? Um, we are in the middle of recording eight songs with our friend David Barrett. Um, he's recorded some, musicians, some other like, popular bands around Asheville. 
his name kind of got shuffled along to us and we hooked up with him. Yeah, and um, uh, we're in the final stages of recording right now, so, but then there's the whole mixing process and yeah, so after that, you know. We're a few months away yeah, from Yeah, a few months anything. away from a physical mm -hmm. thing. Any ideas as, I mean, you mentioned that uh, you guys both collect records, but uh, you guys have a plan for releasing yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make someone put it out for us, yeah. I think is our plan <laughs> for a record. Um, we want to put out like something like a tape, maybe. It's just kind of yeah. it's kind of weird these days. Like everyone has some kind of CD, and like, any CD I get, I always just like throw away or forget to listen to. So we're gonna try to do some like avant-garde, not avant-garde, but just you know some like weirder releases, like a tape, hopefully a seven inch at some point. Yeah. And then with everything online, people can still listen to it, and people can right. come see us play. So and they can burn their own CDs. Yeah, it's up to them. But yeah. we're just not really sure. Like iTunes is a big th big thing for us, I think. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, why why tape? Is it the lo-fi? I think it's just like a little bit cheaper for us to put out a tape than yeah. like a 45 <laughs> right now, yeah. you know? And it'll hold eight songs, and we can like, it's like still a physical thing that you can take, and we can go and play shows, and like, here it is, and like, we'll still give them a way to download it, but it's, we want them to take something home with them, and. Um, so it, it's still a tangible object, but it's it's more like a vehicle for, for distributing that. Yeah, it's, yeah more and it's, like, it's more just kind of funny. Like, where did you like, get this tape? You know, who is that? And like, all this band out there. Like, that's fine. Like, in Asheville, I feel like there's a pretty good, there's a pretty big scene and people who will still listen to it. Yeah, tape. There's, there's like tape trades going on in some and cities. Yeah, and then, I mean, bigger uh, bands there are putting out tapes, like, yeah. along with the CD. But, I mean, if we're, as of right now, we're funding everything ourselves. So it's, like, what's going to get the most attention, more so than, like, not necessarily people actually listening to it, but if, you know, if people know where they are, they'll come see, see us play. Yeah. And that, is, that speaks for itself, in my opinion, so.
Thank you.